Hey, what's up guys? I want to talk to you about a couple things today. First, the matter at hand. I want to talk about what could potentially ruin Call of Duty next year or this fall, November 2017. As a lot of you probably know, I've really not been digging this new Infinite Warfare. Matter of fact, this is the first Call of Duty I didn't buy. Normally on the channel, I do Call of Duty zombie tutorials. I'm not going to be putting tutorials for the new zombie maps or Infinite Warfare on the channel. It's just not been something I've been passionate about. and. Uh, I think a lot of the community might feel the same way. Not just about zombies, but the game in general, or they may not have been playing it because they've been playing Modern Warfare Remastered. Who knows? And as I discussed in a previous video about all this and this future of the channel, it's kind of opened me up to what uh, you know lies ahead of the future in the Call of Duty franchise and that niche. And I mean, there are positive things. For example, Sledgehammer is really, you know, it is slightly rumored that Sledgehammer's Call of Duty at the end of this November will not be in the future. It will be set in the present or slightly in the past. Most importantly, no exosuits, no jumping around, boots on the ground, which is good. If they don't do that, well, that, that'll be really interesting to see. And that leads me to what I think is a big problem. Bundling a remastered title with your current triple a release of call of duty releasing them at the same time i would expect activision to repeat the strategy of bundling a remastered version of a previous call of duty title as an incentive to pre-order the certain deluxe edition of the game or whatnot but i think it'd be much more advantageous to make as an instant reward that if you choose to pre-order a select edition of a digital copy of cod 2017 this summer you automatically get whatever remastered title immediately as a digital download. Also, some of you in the previous comments mentioned that, no, they're not going to do a remastered title bundled with uh, uh, Sledgehammer games. And because, you know, if it's going to be Black Ops 2, Treyarch has to do it. And that's not true. Raven did the remastered version. Apparently, everybody's loving the remastered version of uh, Call of Duty 4 remastered. So they're going to have a different developer do the remastering. Now, it's popular belief that uh, having two Call of Duties released at the same time could divide the community, you know, is in terms of playtime, support, push on the game. You know, there's half as many people playing Infinite Warfare right now. You now, some people might be saying this because a lot of people went to Con 4. I just think it's because Infinite Warfare, it doesn't live up to the Call of Duty standard that, you know, we have come to expect from Call of Duty. That being said... My assumption, now this isn't necessarily the case, but when you're launching a new Call of Duty, Activision, and you won't let us purchase this remastered version of COD 4 without purchasing your new product, it gives one an assumption that your new release isn't going to be that good. At least it did me. I don't mean to be insulting. Even Infinite Warfare is a great AAA game, but it's piece of shit. And so was Ghost. And when I refer to a game as being part of your Call of Duty brand, a Call of Duty game. They're excellent games otherwise, compared to uh, many others, they're superior. But I expect the best. The Call of Duty brand. The Call of Duty game that we've come to passionately fall in love with. And I want it back. And there's kind of a feeling from this one person's opinion that sometimes you're just slopping the games together without much efforts because you know the 12 year olds will buy it no matter what. I know you're going to have supply drops. Microtransactions are a necessity with uh, today's games and how much you spend on making them. Uh, no complaint about that. But I think one thing that will help the COD community is to restore the faith in your loyal fans. Part of your problem may be the game's not as fun to play, but I think a big problem is that you lost some of our trust. Every year I would pre-order my Call of Duty, my season pass, without hesitation. Boy, was I pissed when I finally got Ghost after pre-ordering it and the season pass. I remember buying, okay, I'll go ahead and then buy Advanced Warfare, even though I was upset with Ghost, but I waited on the season pass to see whether I liked it, only to be pissed off by getting my ass kicked by this AE4 Widowmaker you gave a month early to people that purchased the season pass. Not that the Widowmaker was overpowered, but if you got shot by that from a distance, you definitely knew you got shot by it. It was annoying. There's absolutely no doubt that the majority of your fans want Black Ops 2 to be backwards compatible. But I understand why you probably aren't going to make it backwards compatible, because that would exclude your PS4 customers. It's a prime opportunity to make that or Modern Warfare 2 remastered. So the summer when you start running ads and trying to generate as much hype as you can, Give us that remastered title as a benefit for trusting you and pre-ordering a game and a season pass six months in advance. 
You'd be surprised how many more people will come back just because you're doing that. Bringing back some excitement to the community in the summer before the release of the actual game. It'll increase pre-orders. It'll also make us very happy, bring a lot more inactive players back into the Call of Duty swing of things. And if Activision and Sledgehammer had done their job and knock it home with the release this November, that'll be the start of a resurgence of the Call of Duty franchise. I really think that would be a lot better. You know, one thing that really got me in the comments, normally they don't bother me, but several comments about the length of the video that I just had to drag it out to 10 minutes to get that second ad revenue. I understand where this misconception comes from. It is true. Once a video reaches 10 minutes in duration, you can advertise a second video on it, like at the end or whatnot. But I don't have millions of subscribers like, say, PewDiePie. I'm a much smaller channel, and, and any revenue that might actually be generated by a second video at the end of a 10-minute video of mine will be pennies. The new YouTube algorithm promotes videos that get lots of watch time, but people have to be willing to watch the video in the first place before you can have a chance to generate watch time and have you to promote the video. Actually, if you clicked off of the video in the first few seconds, the new algorithm would guarantee it would get no more views. Because YouTube has absolutely no idea what the video actually is or if it's quality content. But if you're leaving the videos open, you're telling the YouTube algorithm this video was a match for what you were looking for. It is entertaining. And YouTube automatically starts suggesting it on other viewers' browse features and suggested videos. The system deems what is good and what's bad based on how long you watch. It's no longer about views. The new algorithm favors longer videos, specifically ones that are at least 10 minutes in duration. Yes, you can put another ad at the end of the video. And yes, if people actually watch all the way through the video, that's very advantageous because Google could sell two ads. But the fact that the video is 10 minutes or longer statistically increases the likelihood of more watch time than, say, a three-minute video that has 100% retention. The algorithm also favors videos from a channel that gets viewers to come back on a daily basis, which is why I plugged the next day's video at the beginning. I just spent too long doing it and I'm sorry that I dragged it out in the manner in which I did which is why in this video I gave you what the title implied right up front and this extra stuff is at the end as I'm trying to adapt please don't think that it's you know greedy 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 I promise you you couldn't buy cod point with any additional revenue the second ad on that video might have got it had a retention rate of 33 percent I'm excited to announce the return of YouTube's Josh Keatley I remember how excited I was when he first let me uh, into one of his party chats He's a great YouTuber. There's a card on screen right now to check out his channel. Give him a subscribe if you've never heard of him. Most of you probably have. I got a challenge for you, Josh Keeley. Uh, since right. we've been talking about this clickbait topic, I want to read from you okay. negative comments. I'll just select the negative comments in no particular order. Just scrolling down the list. Newest first on the whole from one video. Yours or mine? Mine. Mine, okay. mine. Okay. Mine. All right. And, and uh, see if you can keep from laughing. Are you ready? Okay. Set. Yep. I, yep. Why did I watch this, Pedro? Suck a dick. Unsubscribe. I hate this guy. <laughs> LOL, you fat cunt without cheats cunt. You old fucking clickbait smackhead. Hang yourself. Lame. You suck. Fat, sad, desperate for views. LMAO. Clickbait. You fucking desperate, misleading bitch. No wonder your channel isn't good. So for you fucking clickbait with your desperate, misleading titles. Clickbait, cop looking old man, old fart. Great job, your videos suck dick, and there's a 10 minute, one second loser. Why? Fat Kevin James, clickbait bitch, go back being a mall cop. Okay, I can just imagine. Why? Wait, wait, why is it an insult to call me John Goodman? I, don't, I never understood that. Uh, I, I think out of, like, you told me those insults earlier, and out of everything that everybody said, that was the one that stands out to me the most. That one's funny. I don't give a fuck what everyone says. That's funny. I'm not saying that you look like John Goodman, because, I mean, you don't, obviously. Uh, uh, Something about that's funny. I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, John Goodman. <laughs> Something about that's funny. Like, I, I can props to that guy. That was a good comment. <laughs> this dude doesn't have his life figured out, playing video games and files, making weird porno sounds out of it. He hasn't seen the real world, probably lives in his mom's basement. Do you live in your mom's basement? No. We don't have a basement. Okay. 
Uh, I don't either. Only, only rich people um, can afford basements. I mean. No, no, I'm in <laughs> the attic. We refurbished the attic. Yeah, we refurbished the attic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, like that. That's what I used to tell people that. Like when they would say, like, you, know, you live in your your mom's basement. Like, I wish I could afford a basement. <laughs> Shit, like I live on my mom's couch. Like <laughs> in the living room, I'm playing on the TV. True story. Like, not even joking. Like. Oh, I like this one. This one's from a video that's actually uh, one of my most liked to upgrade the ice staff by round five. You suck now, or can I do that better than you could? I could do it on round three. Your old dad's room is upgraded. What? First of all, you can. There's no possible way to upgrade the goddamn ice staff by round three. It requires at least. Oh, fuck it. Don't explain to fucking squeaky. Ice staff. Let me think hard. What, what round. Crash, you're the expert. What round can you get the ice staff on? I, 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 you know, I don't know if it'd be done by four or not. I did it by five, and that was fucking difficult. But I don't, I don't like. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of drunk right now. I don't even remember what the fuck you had to do to get the ice staff. I don't even know. <laughs> but I don't know. That's I, will, I remember more. <laughs> I want to put my dick inside black. P.S. Zombies. What the fuck? What, what the, I, I failed the challenge already. That's stupid. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even... Uh, fuck. <laughs> Cluck you clickbait fuck. shit. Wait, 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 wait. Stop. Go, go back What? Read that again. Go back What? <laughs> Say what you just said. Uh... The, it was the last sentence before. I don't know what you said. <sighs> I want to put my dick inside black PS zombies. What? Uh, why? why? Why would someone write that? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> PS, what's P, P, Panzer zombies or? My mind's telling me no. What the fuck is going on there? No one knows. You know, no one's but probably gonna get, you just... should find that guy. <laughs> fuck it, get him on a Skype chat and ask him, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I will shoot you in the face, bitch. Be sure to check out this video on the right, or how about a random video suggested by YouTube? If this is your first time here, welcome. I'd love you to subscribe. I created this channel two and a half years ago to connect with the zombie community and provide them tutorials that are always easy to understand. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.